So I just wanted to do a really quick uh, demo on how I put the armor on. Um, I'm going to skip the Suniante because uh, they kind of slide down and I need to work on them a little bit uh, to customize them to my own uh, body. But uh, generally I start with the Hairate. That is if I'm skipping the Suniante. Um, I kind of take advantage of these little openings here. Um, for now I'm going to be skipping putting on the, the leg straps. So I just, uh, you know, uh, make sure it's tight on the first pass, and I just come in through the little, the little gaps. And I just do a simple double knot, just for simplicity. This won't be seen anyway, so that's why I don't really worry about it. As long as it's tight and they're not sliding around, they don't slide down, then uh, that should be good. Uh, just like that. It doesn't look right, but it's going to be hidden, so don't worry about it. You can kind of loop it back again if you want to. Like, yeah. Now, the dough. So for my dough here, um, I already attached my cote, the arms here, and the sole, the shoulder protectors. Um, to do this, all I did was I strung some of the attachments over the toggles and I tied them together in the middle so they can't come off unless I take uh, the toggles off and this is being this is creating a barrier by the attachment of the sode because the toggles are attached it prevents this from coming off um, yeah it's pretty it's a pretty simple setup so now I'll show you how well let me show you the inside first um, the the straps from the cote I don't like having them tight I have it I have the back straps very loosely tied and all this does is it keeps the back of the cote here inside uh, I don't have well, I don't have it tight because it would prevent movement the front ties I will tie uh, together fairly tightly once I get inside so now I'll show you how I would uh, put this on with the sode and the cote already attached Okay, so basically what I do is I set it on my bed, open it up, I lift the shoulder straps a little bit, and then I basically just sit right into it. I get the, the cote straps kind of out of the way, and since the cote is already on, I generally kind of grab, you know, if I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, which I wouldn't suggest doing, but I just grab the ends, and I start putting both arms in at the same time. And I sit into it. I don't attach the finger straps yet because it makes it a little bit more difficult. My next step would be to tie uh, the cote straps. I do this so the this thing stays on the inside of the armor instead of flying outside all the time. So I, I, tie, I tie it fairly, you know, it's loose so there's movement but it is also tight at the same time. I just do a single loop, that's it. Next step would be to attach the toggles. So that's pretty much it for that part. So now I will go ahead and uh, attach the fingers. I, I go with the index finger and thumb just because it helps fit uh, the tackle a little bit better for me. Simple as that. Uh, I usually try to make sure that the little, little nub thing here is on the elbow or close to. So again, this is set up fairly well for me. I just grab one of the straps here, wrap it around a couple times. I don't do it too tight because I don't want it cutting off my blood circulation. And then just do a couple of knocks. I don't do anything fancy. I just make sure that there's not much string hanging out. 
I just kind of push it into the inside here just to make sure it's out of the way. And I'll do the exact same thing on the other side. I usually like to make one really short and one fairly long. It just makes it easier for me. And I just shove it on the inside. Yeah, go a little bit lower. And again, that just kind of keeps it out of the way. So now I have this. What I usually do is I'll lean up against a wall. That way the back is pushing forward and that way it's much easier to tie. Um, I don't have a good camera position, so I'm just going to loop it once and I'll be back in a second with this somewhat tight. I just do a double knot. The second, the second loop I just make fairly loose, so it doesn't take a lot of effort to get off. So there you have it. Just a double loop. Um, and that's pretty much it. And I'll just shove those inside to get them kind of out of the way. You can see there's still a bit of a gap, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. All right. Um, the next part, you would usually wear a sash. I don't have one, so I'm just going to use my Kaku Obi. This is the one I got from iwogu.com. I just fold in half, make sure the open side is down. And I want to get it on the inside of these straps here, not touching the armor on the top because then it will be loose. So here's where the armor ends. So that's where I'm going to put the top. is not exactly easy wearing armor. And chances are this is not going to look particularly great because as you can see I don't have all that much obi left. So it's the clamshell method but done fairly messy. And then again I will just slide this mostly to the back. And then I will I will usually fix this. Make sure these are in the right position. Try to make things every make everything a little bit nicer. Make sure everything's in the right position. That's the majority of the armor. Again, I skipped the suriate. Uh, I'll show you how I tie my, my kabuto. So generally, I think it's a good idea to have something over your head, like a, a handkerchief or a, a bandana. But anyway, what I will do is I'll pull these up a little bit, almost like ears. And that's how I usually start. Come on, put it up, and then there. Now you want to make sure your things are a little bit uh, about the same length. Mine are off a little bit right now. I'm not going to worry about that for this video. I'll fix it later. But what I do is I loop each of these up through these little things that I pulled through. On both sides. And then I'll tighten them. I mean, you don't want to choke yourself, but you want them tight enough to where your helmet's not going to slide around. 
they're almost the same length. So after you have it looped through those little loopties, I would just do another really simple, almost like a knot, just like that. And a lot of people will come through and do another one. So I'll go ahead and do that too. Now, the next part is a little iffy for me. I'm not quite sure. So for the time being, what I will do is I'll just come back through way over here at the end of each loop and do another really simple one of those and just leave it like that and that kind of prevents this from flying all over the place and the helmet's on it's not going anywhere unless you pull it off the red things right here in the back um, I only have one of these rope things and what that does is it ties so they um, prevents it from flopping around too much like this is the, this is the farthest it's gonna come forward otherwise it could fly way over here and that's why I have it like that um, I also have the Sode tied up higher. They used to come way, they, there used to be a gap all the way down to here. Uh, so I just added an extra little, an extra little tie to kind of pull it up higher. That way it's not, it doesn't fly way back here and stay there all the time. I kind of like having it a little bit more forward. And that is just about it. I don't have a tachi, so I'm gonna wear my swords like a katana. I don't have a sash, so That's basically it. I could probably get a lot of flack for not having it uh, edged down, but I'm not on horseback, so edge up works for me. All right. Hopefully that might help you guys a little bit that might not know how to put on the armor. Uh, I'm still learning, so there's a lot for me to learn left. All right.